frustration over the lack of action to stop a practice that some are calling home equity theft. This is where cities and towns, even private companies, foreclose on homeowners over unpaid taxes and then they pocket the profits. Five Investigates, Karen Anderson has been digging into this issue and Karen, what's the holdup up on Beacon Hill? Good question. It's been almost four months since the Supreme Court ruled this practice is unconstitutional. Now six bills have been sitting on Beacon Hill to ban it here in Massachusetts with no action. The author of one of those bills just sent this letter saying enough is enough. I'm getting pissed off. It's wrong and it needs to be fixed. State Senator Mark Montigny has been pushing for years for Beacon Hill to put an end to what he calls home equity theft. When cities and towns foreclose on a property, sell it and pocket the proceeds. Now, after a ruling from the nation's highest court, he's stepping up his fight, sending this letter to the Joint Revenue Committee calling for immediate action. What goes through my mind is this must stop now. Massachusetts is one of 14 states that allowed cities, towns, even private companies to profit from tax lien foreclosures. But in May, the U.S. Supreme Court unanimously found the practice is unconstitutional. Despite pleas from people like Nancy Rodriguez, who was evicted from her Worcester home worth $300,000. I'm being evicted from my own home. I can't believe it, what is happening. A Bolton alpaca doing? farmer fighting to keep his land. I think it's incredibly unfair. I mean, it's definitely unjust. The Massachusetts Attorney General demanding reform. And this decision makes it clear that our current law is unconstitutional. On Beacon Hill, another hearing, but once again, no action. You've been working on this for six years. That's right, and it should have taken six days. Does Beacon Hill have the ability to actually pass a law like this? now. Y yes, I, I believe so. Some cities and towns tell us selling tax liens to a private company helps balance their books. The Massachusetts Municipal Association, which Montigny says has opposed his bill, issued a statement saying we support creating a special commission to bring together stakeholders to closely examine the current practice around collection of delinquent property taxes. We've had five years to study this. We've had years of public hearings. There's nothing left to study and there's nothing left to debate about. If they want to debate, let's Let's debate on the floor. Our responsibility is to say to cities and towns that engaged in this, you were wrong, you didn't do your job protecting these people, and we're going to stop you. Now, the Joint Revenue Committee tells us they met again today to further review Senator Bontigny's bill along with the others that would address this issue. No vote, no action, once again.